Uh, hello, pool owners. So I'm gonna cover my uh, Polaris VRX IQ pool cleaner uh, that we've had for maybe four years, and uh, worked great for the la maybe up until last end of summer into fall last year. And I started getting uh, Air 10 uh, on the control unit here. So this is what ours looks like in Air 10, some communication error due to a bunch of searches and you'll find that uh, it's either the cord or it could be the motor control block which is part of the robot. Uh, if you look online for these parts, very expensive. The cord itself, you know, it's like 350 bucks and uh, maybe a little higher, 354. And the motor control blocks just expensive with that. So, um, it's gonna kind of go over how I fixed mine uh, with that error. Uh, I did replace the motor control block, thinking that that's probably the likely cause where water could get in and cause problems. But uh, after changing it, it worked for a little bit, like, I mean, a day or two, and then it started giving me the same errors. So I put it on hold and I decided to make this winter project on uh, getting this corrected and fixed here. So here is our Polaris VRX IQ Plus robot. And it's got the lid with the basket in there. And uh, so I really like this. It does a great job of cleaning so you don't have to pull out the vacuum uh, with all of that because with our pool, you have to put you know the hose in the uh in the in the uh, skimmer go through all of that so it's like nah i don't want to do that so i found the other cause could be the uh the swivel on your cord for your cable so i said okay well i had found a video uh on youtube another one where a guy i believe he's, uh, he's an engineer electrical engineer he took it apart opened it up and uh, found a problem in there. Then he like had a new little kind of a board in there that uh, the little three contacts on the swivel uh, make contact with to allow electricity to flow through the cable uh, and onto the robot. But that looked like too much work and too complicated. So I went a different route, which is to eliminate the swivel completely <clears throat> and just cut it out. So that's what I did. So uh, I cut the cable, the swivel out of the cable. And uh, before I did any repair, I went ahead and just opened the swivel since I wasn't using it. And when I took the cable apart and kind of pulled the innards out, uh, there was actually water a little bit inside the swivel. And the robot had been out of the pool for at least six months. And when I looked down at the little board, little circular board that has like three gold rings where the contacts from the other side contact with it, there was a bunch of corrosion in there. <clears throat> so that was definitely the problem uh, that I was having uh, with the uh, communication uh, with that. So what I did was um, I was reading some comments uh, on this particular issue. And then I found somebody that said they were you they use these little connectors here. So I got the number for them from Amazon and I ordered me a couple of them, not the, kind of the right size uh, for that, but you can see I've just got it screwed apart. And so this is kind of the end cap. And then this screws on here and you'll notice that there's a red kind of gasket in there. So that helps uh, keep water out. And then you have this little middle block here and it's for three for a three wire system which the cord for the polaris uh, polaris is so you just cut on each side of your cord it's got three holes so you just make sure the same color comes in on each side and then it has these little screws that you screw down to hold it in place and then this fits inside of this piece here and then on the other end you've got the gasket and you have another cap on there so on your on your cable when you cut this this is just an outer covering for another insulated wire that's in the middle that actually carries the three wires so what you're going to want to do is what i did was i just found one where that diameter 
um, was close to the inside uh, wire where that was at. So that's kind of what I did, but it's like these are also made for like underground electricity, uh, you know, for landscaping and other things like that, lighting and stuff along those lines and stuff. So, you know, this is going to be submerged under the water 100% of the time while it's, while it's in use and stuff. So I didn't want any water to come out of there. So what I thought was, well, I'll just use some shrink tube electrical shrink tubing on there and that's what this black stuff is here so here's a piece of it here and what you want is i'd ordered uh that inch and a half diameter first so that's this size or it looks like this right so it's unshrunk inch and a half and i cut some off and then i took my heat gun and you needed one of those high temp heat guns to uh to use you know the shrink because you wanted to shrink just to see what the final diameter uh, was and it was not small enough to cover this outer one here. So I ordered the inch and a quarter, which is what this size is here, inch and a quarter, and that's what I used when I when I uh, cut a piece off and shrunk it down just to test the size. It was going to be for this a little smaller than this because this is what I wanted. <clears throat> So you can see here in the middle is this piece here that I have, and then I have three uh, pieces of heat shrink uh, over it. I have the, the piece you see here is this longer piece, and then underneath that I have a shorter piece that goes from here to here, and then a third piece that's shorter that just goes from here to here, and those are all overlaid. So when you putting this together, you're going to want to cut your heat shrink and I just put on the left side. So your longest piece is going to go first on your wire and then your medium piece will go on and then your shortest piece will go on last because once you connect your wire up on there, right, there's no way to get this stuff on there. So you have to kind of preload these pieces uh, on there. So after your heat shrink, you'll slide this on your cord and then just slide this on your cord. Okay, and then you'll have this piece here, so you'll slide it over here on this side. Uh, but this piece going on first, and then this side, and then this will be connected, and then you can put these pieces together and screw them down, and they'll be ready to go. And then once you have that, then you can slide your first short piece uh, over this, right? Shrink it down, and then. Well, once that shrunk, it's ready to go. And what's nice about the heat shrink is on the inside there, once it gets hot, this inner stuff turns soft and it's like a glue. So it helps seal and keep water out. And then once this one is shrunk down, then you can slide your, your mid-size piece over. Uh, once again, use the heat gun to shrink it down. And then your largest piece over and then shrink it down with that. So it's nice and tight and it's sealed up at both ends uh, every time there's an end so you got like triple protection for water uh it kind of stiffens up a little bit so you don't have a lot of play which is good uh for that and it works for great so uh i've used run the robot many times and didn't have a problem really with any tangling uh because the robot you know it, it doesn't turn one direction sometimes it'll go left and then sometimes it'll go right so it's not always going left where it's making left hand turns or all right hand turns where your uh your your cord that's floating in the pool gets all tangled up uh with that so that's that's kind of my fix and probably the reason why it, it kind of got in there is because i always left my robot in the pool because you know it uses that iLink app you can have on your phone and you can just schedule cleanings and it'll just come on. So I had it like eight o'clock, you know, run the two hour, 30 minute one, it does the cleaning. So you've always got the robot and you have the, the swivel uh, when it was in place, always underwater. And so that's probably helps, you know, make this, uh, this water leakage issue uh, be more of a problem with that. So I don't do that anymore. So I do the cleaning and my pool is uh, stays pretty clear and clean and stuff. As you can see now, I'm in, uh, I'm in Louisiana. So I keep it, uh, I keep it cleaned and, and stuff uh, cleaned out of it uh, on the top. 
uh, and I don't run my pump at 24 hours a day. I run it for maybe 11 hours, uh, 12 hours total, two different spurts uh, from like 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. and then from like 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, or to 5 p.m. and just let that uh, run and that keeps the water clean so I don't have to run the robot as much. But once it's done, now what I'm doing is I'm taking it out of the pool and, uh, and not leaving it in the water uh, with that. So that may help prolong the life. If it's not in the water, uh, there's not a chance for water to leak in either in the motor control block, which is on the underside of this unit here. Uh, and that's unit that has the gears and drives the, drives the wheels and the little paddles uh, in the front. And then if you have your swivel, um, then uh, you can have water go in there. So, but if you don't mind paying 350 bucks for a new, you know, whole new cable, you know, you can go that route. Uh, with that it's pretty easy this thing opens up take the motor control block out of the bottom then there's uh, some additional screws I believe four and this thing will split in half and come out and then you can uh, see your cabling and uh, get all of that run in and uh, you know the plugs are on it so it's probably pretty easy to do but uh, this is the route that I went and uh, so you know it's pretty cheap I, you know, these are, you know, like 10 bucks. They came in packs of two, 10 or $15. The heat shrink uh, is what I have here, inch and a quarter. It was probably about the same, so real short money. Uh, with that, I'll put the links uh, in the description for both of these uh, items. But, you know, it took me, you know, probably about an hour, uh, an hour to get it done. So I'm pleased with it. Uh, seems to be working great and i am ready for the 2025 pool season thanks